All right, can you all hear me? Oh, good. So, <laughs> uh, a couple of people had asked, suggested that we do a presentation on a couple of things that we've dealt with in terms of learning about Oracle. And since I really didn't think y'all wanted to hear about Oracle for like an hour, here's five minutes. So, a couple simple things to improve complex queries when you're dealing with Oracle. Um, because of our customer, you know, this is pretty much the architecture from a simplified view in a lot of our applications. And um, because of the fact that we're using ORM, Hibernate Active Record, it makes basic CRUD operations really simple. And then because of overbearing DBAs who like to make our lives difficult, um, we spend all of our time in the application in the web tier and none of the time in the database. And that's fine if you have app just as basic CRUD operations. But if it's a little more complicated, you're doing consistent series of queries, um, well, that's um, not great. So uh, just some quick tips. And the first one, yeah, it's actually a joke in some ways. But the point is, is to actually learn a little bit about Oracle, um, which most of us are avoiding like the plague. Um, there, Oracle has a lot of SQL extensions. Uh, simple things probably most of you know about, like uh, date translation and string manipulation, but there's a lot more there. Hierarchical data support, uh, the ability to call PLSQL functions, custom null handling, branching logic, all of that is available within the standard SQL parser. This does not anything fancy like the GIS or Oracle text or any of the other optional features. All of this is in standard Oracle SQL. And yeah, you did hear me. I did say PLSQL. Um, it's not a great language. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But if you're in a situation where you're consistently running series of queries, writing them in PLSQL can be a way to A, dry up your code, and B, improve performance by not sending as much data over the wire, as well as pre-optimizing the query at PLSQL compile time as opposed to run time. Uh, it's definitely not a fit for anything basic again, but if you're doing complicated things, it has an advantage. Now, of course, the joke about this is that you're saying that so to get decent performance out of Oracle, you need to take database agnosticism and throw it in the trash can. Um, yeah, I'm kind of saying that. Um, if you're doing anything specific and if you're doing anything complicated, database agnosticism becomes a real problem. And if you're using an ORM like Hibernate, which forces you into database agnosticism whether you like it or not, it can be a bit of an issue. So how do you get around this? Well, one idea which hardly anybody considers is instead of always mapping your ORM models to tables, map them to views instead. There are several advantages of doing this. One is, is that you can take that database-specific SQL and hide it inside the view and keep your ORM layer database agnostic. A couple of other things is that Flaws in your data model that don't match your ORM, like naming standards, can now be hidden as well. Uh, lastly, it's a good way to denormalize your database without changing the data model by, changing the, by altering the view. Um, doing this, of course, does lead you, unfortunately, into triggers, which then leads you into PLSQL. So you may have to learn it anyway, even if you're not trying to learn a series of queries. But it can at least keep your ORM layer clean, which is probably the most important thing. The other thing about Oracle is the fact that uh, the query parser is um, finicky, especially when it comes to uh, optional outer joins, type conversion, and a few other situations like that. Um, what we've found is that changing the syntax to something that should either be equivalent or some things that should even run slower will run faster in certain situations. Other times, breaking the query up into smaller queries where you're running two, three, four, or even more will also run faster and return to you data more often. So the best thing I can tell you to do is learn explain plan. Very basic Oracle command and something that is essential for parsing your query and trying to figure stuff out. So nothing here too profound, and hopefully five minutes on Oracle didn't kill you. But um, the idea is just basic stuff. Get, learn your database a little bit. You don't have to become DBAs to do it. Uh, we've done a lot more advanced stuff than this, so feel free to come grab either Seth or I or anyone else, else on the team if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, that's it. So have fun. <laughs>